Hello everyone, Ginma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Metroid Fusion. Okay, so, it looks like some crud is going on, so let's go over here. Oh man, guys. Emergency in Sector 3, PYR. The area can melt down soon. It seems the main boiler's cooling unit is malfunctioning. This could easily destroy the entire research station, as it would likely trigger the auto-destruct explosives. We have about six minutes. Hurry to Sector 3 and access the control room to the side of the main boiler room. Most of the systems in PYR are down because of this. Again, we know who to blame. The SAX must have hacked it into the system control file. What impressive intelligence. Is your objective clear? Yes. There's little time. Hurry to the control room in Sector 3. Okay, well, let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> and then we have a timer, guys. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we have to hurry on over there with an actual time limit, but it's all right. We have a ton of gear, so it's not gonna be too hard. Oh man. Yeah, this game always has like little twists and surprises as far as like the plot goes. Like again, um, this is absolutely crazy because we're gonna have to go through like a huge chunk of this area that we've never even gone into yet. But now that we have like a ton of like good gear and stuff, uh, we can actually like properly explore it. Oh, I did it at the wrong spot. I should have done it here. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh yeah, I want to do it from over here. Okay. Alright. Um, I think, right? No, I do want to do it from down there. Okay. Alright, never mind then. Um, let's go over here. And let's go back to this room. Okay. So yeah, I have plenty of time to do this, but still. Gosh. Darn it. Okay. Alright, well, we have the ice missiles now, which is gonna help things along. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. Ugh. Wait, is there something over here? I'm trying to remember. Um. Okay, no, let's go. <laughs> hey, man, I had to check it. Alright. She's like, five minutes. You know, actually, I really wanna say that, like, however they did these voice samples in this game really darn good voice samples for like a like Game Boy Advance game like holy crud all right like again the sound like the sound design of this game is friggin impeccable guys like you have no idea I I really like it but either way let's go okay Boop. Do, do, do. all right let's go Boop. and let's go over here and Alright, cool. Alright. So let's go over here, and boop. Alright. So, one thing really quick, we have these enemies. Um, yeah, you just want to hit them with the ice thing so you can get up. They give you actually plenty of time to go and do this, but still, like, when you first see it, though, it freaks you out, because it seems like you don't have much time. But, like, still, this kind of cements how fast-paced a lot of these Metro games kind of are, though. Is that, like, you have these big areas that, like, they feel big and important. When in actuality, they, like, are super short segments. <laughs> you know? Um, which is really cool. Either way, though. Let's go. Alright. Doop. And, ugh. There we go. You don't want to land on that platform. It's a trick one. Okay. So let's go down here, and after this room, oh, okay, there we go, boom, okay, I'm glad it tells you, like, this is the boiler, just to let you know that, like, you're pretty much there, oh, hello, it's a boss door, okay, doop, let's go, oh, man, main boiler control room, Hello, uh, sir, how about you stop? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, I know, alright, but still, either way. Okay. So, it's another one of these bosses. Again, though, it's pretty easy. You just kind of shoot when the eye shows up, and then you jump. Okay. Wide beam ability recovered. Beam widens dramatically. Well, we have some time to show it off, so there we go. 
doop doop doop. So yeah, that's how the what uh, it was the wave beam, right? Or was it the wide beam? No, it's the wide beam. All right, well there you go. That's what it looks like. So let's go. Yeah, cooling unit operational. I apologize if I stutter. By the way. Okay, let's go. Oh man. <laughs> well, that was a fun little segment. But either way, let's go. Now I think I might have died when I first did that as a kid. I cannot remember, but I also was eight. <laughs> It's actually a pretty easy segment though, so I don't know. Either way, if you're a full-grown adult, and you mess it up. Um, I, I mean, that sucks. <laughs> Either way, let's go. All right. Well, at least the boiler is no longer a problem, so let's go. All right. So about three missiles kills those things. All right. So here's the interesting dynamic also from a gameplay perspective that this game kind of does. Is I mentioned before how the charge beam is ridiculously overpowered. And that it's kind of like... So in other games you would typically use the ice beam to make it easier to kill enemies with the missiles. But now you use the missiles to make enemies easier to kill with the ice beam. Sort of. Or not the ice beam, but you know like regular beam. Because you don't get the ice beam. Because you have ice missiles. Oh, 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 well, it is barely hurting me, but I still feel that. Okay, let's go. Alright. So, let's continue onward. Okay, ooh, there we go. Whew. There we go. That wasn't too bad. So, let's go over here. Boop! And... Nope, not letting that happen. Alright. And boop. Is there anything that I can grab now that I couldn't grab before? Probably. All right, let's go all the way up. Hello, destroyed door. Okay, let's head left. And boop. Up there. And boop. Boop. And doop doop. All right. So, did I ever destroy that? I'm doing it now. Okay. Can I go through that door? Oh, I can. Sweet. Let's go. I probably could have just gone to the top of this room, saved some time. Ah, whatever. Either way, let's go. So these enemies, uh, they look pretty new, actually. I don't think I've seen them in, like, any other Metroid game. Maybe other, um, but if anything, in that case, then it's a reference to this. Um, okay, well, either way, let's go. Was there anything in that one room? Well, yeah, I did kind of cheese that room earlier and kind of just got... Yeah, alright, well, let's go. Doop -a doop And doop -a doop Okay. Navigation room. The X mimicked a crew member? It all makes sense now. The X can absorb the memories and knowledge of their prey. What an astounding find. HQ was very impressed. But don't you find it strange? This could have destroyed the station with the X in it, not to mention the SAX. Unusual for a self-preserving species like the X, unless... Your presence is an even greater threat. A threat to the existence of X elsewhere. This is only a hypothesis. Perhaps their survival instinct is in conflict with their newly borrowed intelligence. Don't lay your guard down yet. The X are still a threat. Samus, I see bio-signs on the habitation deck. Survivors? The infected crewmen you saw had survived until recently. Maybe there's a chance. The signs emanate from here. Is your objective clear? Yes. I've just restored power to the main elevator. Use it to return and look for any survivors. Well, ain't that convenient. Alright, let's go. Okay. That's cool. Again, I really like little story touches that this game kind of does. It's interesting because, again... Uh, the situation on the ship kind of changes as the game progresses. Like, you know, before it was just a simple outbreak of these creatures, but these creatures with each, like, you know, type of species that they take over, they get, like, a new kind of intelligence, and then they can do more stuff, but then they also still are, like, a species that, like, has those, like, functions where, it, like, you know, it wants to survive. But then it's, like, with the intelligence added on top of it, it's kind of like, you know... It, in many ways, it's kind of like if an animal suddenly, you know, got, like, 
intelligence and then it's kind of it doesn't know like between its instincts and like you know like what to do with its intelligence it's it, it, it's an interesting idea and i like it explored is it a little bit ridiculous in this? I, I like it it's definitely very cool um so either way though whoo i probably should have just dashed it because then i could go through there yeah uh, whatever oh i can do that boop Oh, I need the screw attack. Darn it. Man, I wanted to take the shortcut. Alright, well, let's go. Yeah, it's really cool. Again, I really like the story of this game. So, let's go up to that deck, though. I like the music. Alright, well, let's go. There's that, like, sound again. Okay. Well, maybe it's just space noises, then. I don't even know. Alright. Habitation deck. Okay. Well, let's go over here. Okay. Boop. And there we go. I missed it. Okay. Got it. Alright. So we actually want to go to the third level to be able to progress. Um, there we go. Got it. Okay. So... Now we are over here. First, let's do this. Now, I think you might have noticed uh, some familiar creatures in the background. Actually, I want to show it off, so we're going to go back. I want to show it off. Um, you, come back. All right, there we go. All right, boop. Oh, darn it. All right, you can get out of it. I know you can. Dip a doop, dip a doop, dip a doop. Ooh, there we go. Gotcha. Alright, let's go. Okay. So let's take a look. Hello. Oh! <laughs> I like the little animations. Just messing with the wire. Or like the tire. Wire? Tire! I cannot talk! Guys, guys, I'm so sorry for my inability to perform the basic human function of communicating with other people. But I, I just have to say that like, man, I am really terrible at it. Why do any of you guys watch my videos? I, like, stutter like crazy. Alright. There we go. So let's go up here. And, right. So, let's go right here. And, doop a doop. Gotcha. Alright. So, as you can see, there is another route right here. Boop. Now, I think this uh, actually requires a, yep, speed boost. Alright. So, let's do this. And, let's run. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Alright, now you might be inclined to continue going this way to look around. This is another one of those parts where the game kind of tricks you. It has a slight hint. If you notice, this is above you. Um, that's to hint that you can go right here. Yeah. Um, you really, really need to look for that kind of stuff when you play Metroid games, by the way, guys. Just on a side note. Like, this is something the fusion here in particular has taught me. And it's things that exist in other Metro games for like showing where things are, but lock disengaged, gate opening. Hello. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> oh, it's the little baby one that that bird had. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that was adorable. Let's go. Alright. So that's definitely interesting. Well, let's go. Let's go back down the elevator. Kuns of Decorus, I've met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet again here. In the past, they've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. But where did they run to? I hope they're safe. Yeah, so there you go. Um, that's them remembering uh, those little guys. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure if it's the same ones from Super Metroid. I think it's implied that they are, um, for whatever reason. But, eh. Whatever. Okay, so I don't think there's anything over there that I can get into. Oh, those sounds, though. The sound design in this game is super cool. I'm sorry if I bumped that. But the sound design in this game is super cool. So the survivors were not human. Most unfortunate. We can now confirm the deaths of all crew members. I imagine this was the case, but I had hoped it wasn't so. I believe the accident only affected the humans for knowledge. That form is too weak for battle. I am sure the others... 
were merely food for the X. Samus, I think they are evolving, growing stronger. Some are now appearing that resist your current weapons. HQ anticipated this and sent power bomb data as soon as the hardware with team finished it. Is your objective clear? Yes. Download it immediately. Our choice of data rooms is limited to this one in Sector 5 arc. Go. Now. Okay. So also interestingly enough uh, that I think he mentioned is that the X-Parasites also are intelligent enough to know that I'm getting power-ups from these machines. And so they actually are destroying them. Now why this one hasn't been destroyed yet, I don't know. But uh, that's one that's still fine and that's why we're going back to it. So yeah, let's go. Man, I already got this power up, so yeah. Doop. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. And that's a long elevator. Okay. Well, let's go. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> so, if you guys have not played Fusion before, how are you guys enjoying it? You know, through this LP. Um, I'm definitely, like, having a lot of fun revisiting this. You've been to this day room before, but I'll show you its position again. Thank you. Thank you for that. We really did not need it this time. Thank you. Thank you, game. Alright, let's go. Okay. So we can actually explore that one yellow room in the bottom left now, because... You know, everything is not red and on fire, so let's do that. Okay. Well, it wasn't on fire, but whatever. Let's go. Doop. Okay. So this is kind of bull crud. I just want to say this right now. Yeah. And by the way, no power bomb is going to show you that you can do that. So, uh, there you go. You just kind of be stuck in here for a long time, and you would know it's there. And you would just kind of frantically try and get it. And eventually you would get it. Which, I guess it's good, but it's just, uh, I wish it was choreographed more. Hello, there's that thing again. Hello. How are you doing there? Alright, let's go. Yep. That used to creep me out so much when I was a kid. Like, guys, this game is amazing. Like, I'm not doing it much, much justice, because when I'm commentary, like, doing commentary, I'm, like, talking to you guys. You know, it's just, I don't know. But man, when I played this game as a kid, it creeped me the heck out. Like, it straight creeped me out. So, yeah. Okay, data room. Powerbomb data downloaded. As a ball, hold R and press B. Okay, I'm sure to do that. So let's go back. And we actually can't, so we have to go back around. So let's go. Okay, um... I don't know, I mean, I guess it's for consistency's sake, but I was going to say, though, that, like, I don't entirely see much point to the blue X being in this area, but, I mean, I guess it is consistently consistency, because they were kind of hanging here, you know, like, oh, oh, I totally missed this earlier, okay, at least I caught it this time, oh, it's another one of these, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, um, let that one go. Alright. And boop. Okay, there we go. Mr. Tank acquired. So there you go, guys. Um, it's only on a few occasions that the game does this, but yeah, it's definitely a thing to look out for. Okay, well, let's try and go back this way. Doop -a -doop. Okay. Alright, oh. Well, that got blown up. Alright, well, let's go. Doop a doop. Boop. And boop. Oh, we got a ton of our stuff back. Well, that's good. So, let's save real quick. Gotcha. Okay, so let's go over here and continue. Doop. Okay. Alright. Oh, I have to do a power bomb. I can't go back up there. Okay, so I'm here now. Alright. Oh. So, real quick trick there. 
There's actually a passage up there, but that's meant to trick you. And, uh, because I... Oh! Oh! It saw me! Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. So you can actually survive. Bruh. Bruh. Are you for real? Uh, here. Alright, I'm gonna do this for you, okay? Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well! Wow. Just wow. I don't think I've ever had the SAS be that stupid. Alright, well, let's go. Now, you guys are wondering, why am I personally letting it chase after me? I don't know. Because why not? I know I can get away with it. Um, still, the SAX is very intimidating. I just want to add that. Like, literally, it is a very, very cool enemy. But um, let's actually do this again. Because I just remember there's an item up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, man, that sound effect from, like, the ice just... Mm. Man, again, the sound design in this game, super good. But either way, guys, I just want to add, though, there are a friggin' ton of power bomb tanks in this game. I didn't even realize it. Like, again, I was watching uh, videos by some call me Johnny when he was, like, you know, trying to 100% this game and stuff. And, guys, literally, there are, like, 70-something, like, power bombs in this game. <laughs> And you never need that many for any situation. Most boss, there's like no boss that you need power bombs for. There's no like situation where like it's like warranted to have that many power bombs. But for whatever reason, there's that many power bombs. So I don't know. You can give me your hypothesis below for why you think this is, and I will tell you why. You were wrong. Oh, I just remembered that was a thing. Okay. There we go. Boop. I like those guys. They give me red X. Okay. Which is really cool because it restores my ammo too, not just my health. Oh yeah. Boop. So we're back in this room. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, also really cool is that when the power bombs go off, it actually sucks the uh, X towards the explosion point, like where it starts. Which is also very helpful because then you can just suck the X towards you. You just want to kill them in mass. Again, I guess maybe that's why, like... Okay, here's the other thing. This game does not have an X-ray visor, so I think maybe this is why there's so many power bombs. But, like, um, this game does not have an X-ray visor. And so it expects you to use, like, the power bombs to reveal all the, like, secrets and stuff. Which, you know, it's something Zero Mission does as well, but Zero Mission just doesn't care at that point. Because it's just like, okay... <laughs> Um, okay, you can, you can continue moving now. Alright, so, of course, fake panels. So, uh, there we go. Alright, and you also, let's do this. So I know which ones. Okay. There we go. Powerbomb tank. Alright, there we go. That wasn't too bad. So let's go. Okay. So I'm just collecting these, like, pretty much in mass doing a pretty good job here. So let's go. Okay. I don't know why like that one gets stuck there. It has no reason to get stuck there. Okay. It's like just stupid. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go. Yeah, the X parasites are like interesting creatures. Like, there's definitely like a lot to really say about them, but still. Oh man. Okay. So let's go up here. And now we're going to jump back over here. Now, we still are not going to be doing anything about that thing in the background. So, don't worry about it. Alright, I mean, you can worry about it. It's really big and ominous, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. So, let's go over here. And gotcha. Okay. Let's go over here. And... Right. Um, let's go to the navigation room. We still have a little bit more we can do before I end off, so. Alright. Doop. Samus, return to your ship. I have important information. Uh, okay. You gonna be clear on that, bud? No? 
All right, cool. Let's just go. You know, it's funny. I don't really care in this given situation, but for whatever reason, I actually don't care if it's like in real life because then I have to actually physically get up and go places. But like in video game, I'm just like, oh, you want me to go to a place? Cool. Whatever. I just hold my thumb in a direction for a while. <laughs> okay, though. I usually want specifics if it happens in the real life. Frick. Okay. Well, that just happened. Let's go. Okay. Hello. Oop. Alright. So this music is creepy. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Alright. Also, up there, you're gonna see those creatures. So, fun fact, um, if you guys have played AM2R, those things are Genesis's, or, uh, just so that you know what I'm talking about. You know that, like, secret, that one thing that, like, I fought that I thought was a Xenomorph? That. That. So, there you go. Alright. Hmm. Well, we're back in this room. I can actually do something here now, though. Alright, let's just run straight line. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, doop! Okay. Oh. Well, let's do this. I think that'll work. Oh, I could have done that. Well, I'm stupid. Well, that's fine. Let's go. Okay. So let's go over here. And... Right. Also, you can explore over here with a good old power bomb. Okay. Oh. Well, one of those is there now. Also, yeah, these things were screw attack blocks, so... Just a little thing for you to remember for later. Alright, well, let's go. Okay, let's go in the ship. Save complete. Alright. The main silo of the reactor core has gone offline. That's why all elevators and station systems are down. Elevators and hatches won't work. This doesn't bode well. If you can get to this point, you may be able to start the auxiliary power system. Then we can figure out why the main silo went offline. Is your objective clear? Yes. By the way, I asked you to return here to tell you. Some strange creatures have boarded your ship. I confirmed that they were not ex-hosts and gave them a berth. Do you know anything about these strange creatures? Were they the source of the healthy biosigns earlier? Very well then. The presence in the midst of this disaster must have some significance. I will keep them here. Alright. And how they didn't get possessed? I don't know. Well, they're there now, so there you go, guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into this part of Metroid Fusion. And next part, we're going to figure out, you know, why the power went out and what we can do about it. So either way, I will see you guys next time. Hope you all have a very nice day. All right. Mm, bye.